for joining us. I'm Kristen Holloway. Tonight, family and friends held a funeral for a Mississippi teenager who was shot and killed in the airport area. Alana Tello was murdered at Zodiac Park last Tuesday after a fight. And police say they already have the man who pulled the trigger. 17-year-old Marcus Malone is accused of killing the Horn Lake High School student and is currently detained at juvenile court. While there is a long legal battle ahead, tonight was all about remembering Alana. WREG's Michael Quander is in South Haven where the service wrapped up about a few, a few hours ago. No, police haven't said what role, if any, Alana played in that fight at Zodiac Park. WREG obtained video from that night, but our station has decided not to air it right now. But no matter what really went down that night, Alana's loved ones say she didn't deserve to die. Dressed in tie-dye shirts, family and friends held on to each other outside of Colonial Hills Church in South Haven. All of them here to remember Alana Tello. One of there's one lots of, of them. Many. Yeah. As friends oh, yeah. trying to share their memories and cope with the loss, the church kicked us off the Sorry. property. The family has asked there may not be any interviews in this area. Please leave the church grounds completely. Alana was killed last Tuesday after gunshots erupted at Zodiac Park in Memphis. Pow, 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 about 17 shots. Police say a large group of teens came from DeSoto County to see a fight they say started over a cell phone. As a result of their actions, you know, one is dead and, and you had a couple uh, fighting for their life. Alana's classmates at Horn Lake High released balloons after she died. <laughs> <laughs> and remember the good times. She was like the one that even when I had my kin myself convinced that nobody was there, she was always there. Memories loved ones say are all they have left to hold on to after police say this man snatched Alana's life away. They knew they were going there to kill them girls. They knew it. 17-year-old Marcus Malone is charged with second-degree murder and other serious charges. His family saying they don't think he's guilty, while Alana's loved ones believe others may be involved. To get all of them, to get justice, for them to get what they deserve. Now, at last check, police say no additional charges will be found at this point, but they say the investigation is still open. Reporting in South Haven, Michael Quander, WREG, News Channel 3. Of course, we'll continue to update you on that story. Switching gears now.